Hello, world! Dave here, and, uh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I think we got a treat in store for you today. Welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. What's going on here? We finally made it to where we need to be, the Earth Sea. The land of the High Antians. <laughs> yes, those where don't look guys? unfamiliar. Are those wings on their head? They must be High Antia. Welcome home, Lady Melia. Knew it. She was princess. Lady? Huh? Don't try to hide it. Come on. It's blatantly obvious. Thank you, Captain. These Homs and this Nopon are my guests. See them safely to the guest quarters. Give them anything they need. As you wish. What's going on? I have no idea. Melia, are you...? There's no Homs on the back. Come on. Should have been obvious. Eh, <gasps> ah, don't sound good. Melia. I cannot speak now, but I shall fulfill my promise. I understand. I will arrange for an audience with the Emperor. Will you wait? We won't move an inch. Trust me. My thanks. Uh, that's gonna be an itch that Shulk's gonna be scratching for, oh, I don't know how long. I mean, you don't hear a princess squeal and not have the hero of the game just want to just lunge Melia, after him. he says. Shulk, you're thinking the same as me. Whatever her position is here, Melia won't let us down. I'm sure you're right. More of these guys. And they don't look friendly right about now. So... We get into fights? Come on, we just came here with a damn print with your damn princess. Why the hell are we fighting you? This is really a little ridiculous right about now, but eh, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna complain. Unless they ain't... Our, unless we aren't home. I must report the Telethia's defeat to His Majesty and request entry to Prison Island. Why else would the camera Shulk suddenly focus? on me. I must hurry to the audience chamber. This is a very strange cha time to change the camera around. Oh, we're controlling Soli Melia now. Yeah. Good, bad things are gonna happen. Bad things. I predict bad things. I, I don't even need to describe it. Although, honestly, I could probably go ahead and uh, tweak her equipment a little bit. As Have we got... Have she got... No, she still has the same protect staff. Um, okay, so... Well, we're, we're boned. Father, I have become stronger. Well, at least she got a new skill there, and yeah, you, you're not very making it very obvious here. Oh, yes, 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 I forgot about the skill tree that I had set up for her. So, let's see, what else is on the tree? Extend chill duration. Greatly increases ether. Alright, that last one is really tempting, but that's going to take a lot of grinding, it looks like. What's on the other trees? What can I do for easier... Increase agility. I actually just been informed that agility actually improves accuracy, which is kind of mind blowing. I guess evade, because well, I played a lot of FTL in that, and it would still in that and agility increasing evade makes sense. Agility increasing accuracy, not so much. Let me see here. Uh, boost wind damage. Okay, grants ether up battle, uh, ether up off at the start of the battle. Sounds similar. Could be useful. Increase electric damage. Increase accuracy of ether attacks. Sounds good. Uh, especially considering, you know, someone puts up an aura that increases their evade. I think I would probably want to actually make, be able to actually hit with uh, her mind blast. That is the skill, right? Okay, so let me see here. Increase ether. Uh, it's like a lighter version. Of, that's like half strength of, uh, the, of ultimate ether. I never bother to look at these for some reason. They're just kind of passive. Extend poison duration, cute. Extend strength during the night, fah! 
prevents reduction of accuracy when tension falls. That sounds useful. And grant it eth immunity to ether down debuff. You know what? You know what? You know what? I laugh at the middle skill. I really, really laugh at the last one, but at the, the one at the poison duration extending. But these seem alright, fine. We'll go with that. And I can't do any skill links without other party members, so... Uh, to the Royal Hall! Audience chamber. Whatever. I'm not royalty. Wish I was. Wish I had money. Wish a lot of things. You say the second consort's child survived her ordeal? Okay. Forgive me, first consort. I, Tyrea, vow to see your orders fulfilled. Whilst she's in the capital, do not underestimate the lengths to which His Majesty and the child's loathsome goons will go. How, pray tell, will you avoid the guards? I will do whatever it takes. Oh, your stupidity bores me. Your Highness... Enough I... of your drivel! We will have our chance when she stakes her claim to the throne. Huh. These voices sound slightly familiar. And that's the Valkyrie shape from before. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have the villains here, and it is all one big royal conspiracy. How the hell they they decided that attacking a bunch of Homs colonies would lure the princess out, out into a place where she could be killed is beyond me, but whatever. Of course, I guess the fact is that we would end up... End up that they didn't guess that we would actually help, that we would help her survive the first, well, she would naturally survive the first assassination attempt, I guess. They didn't anticipate her getting revived beyond that. I mean, she probably could have survived. She, was, she wasn't dead, she was just a little woozy, needed a little ether to pick her as a pick-me-up. I don't know. Ooh. And you know what? I know we have no one in the party to actually take advantage of this. Might as well mark it in the, in the log. Yep, yep, I know. I don't have the necessary people. Kind of obvious at this point. I really shouldn't even bother asking. Hmm. So. So, so, so. so. What is it? Really? Hey, you got anything for trade? What is it? Yeah, I, I've picked up a bunch of junk. Sacred Driver. Hmm. Interesting, but we seem to be a little short. Wild Meat. I think that there's a fee to actually trade? That's my guess, anyway. I don't even know how much cash I have on hand. I should mention in the inventory. So like, that's the thing. It, 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 it... No, it doesn't. Hello. Yes. I guess not. Yeah, don't worry. That expedition was mostly a bust. I mean, you didn't, you, you really didn't miss anything. Just a bunch of guards getting killed. Ah. Me, me making some new Homs friends. It's, it, it's nothing you really have to worry about. Let me see here. I'm just looking. I just want to do some more trading, though. I mean, I found one guy that we could trade with. Hey, Gavin. Welcome. Galvin, whatever. I'm used to slightly more normal names right about now. League Leggings. Okay. Definitely don't have anything for that. Yeah, we're not even bothering with that. Uh, if it's just going to be those two people, uh, I'm not really in any mood to trade then. Hopefully. Hipfity. Oh, yeah, we're going to. We have to take one of these elevators. I do like the tech they have. I mean, it, it's obvious it's obvious match attack stuff, but, you know, it's always a nice touch. Hey, Kaylin. What is it? What you got? Uh, at this point, I'm not even going to bother talking to people. I'm just going to see if they got any trade stuff. Ponytails and gold? Gold? Borlock? No, no, no. Get me out. Oh, pop, pop! Oh, pop, pop! Oh, pop, pop! 
I, I, always, I always have a bit of a falsetto voice, I don't know why. I don't normally do voiceovers for that reason, but eh, why not? Oh, Pop Pop, I got something for you! That, that, that sounded horrid. But it's a falsetto, so whatever. This is why I don't do voice acting. Melia Antiqua, First Princess, has returned, Your Majesty. Raise your head. Your Majesty. The Telethia rained havoc on countless veteran knights. You triumphed where they could not. <laughs> well, I wasn't alone. I find it difficult to suppress these feelings of pride for you, my kin. You're not the Emperor. At least you're not, not the your Emperor Majesty. we've seen in visions. I failed to return with any of the subjects you entrusted to me. My inexperience cost them their lives. Hmm. We will grieve for them. But it could not have been avoided. It was their duty and honor to fight beside you. They uh, were all aware of your limits. About that... Emperor! Keep those feelings of frustration close to you. It will help you to remember the debt you owe to those that have fallen. Your Majesty, concerning such debts, there were others who aided me. The Homs and Nopon that accompanied you to the capital, they have been arrested by Imperial security. Oh, God damn it! I Shulk saw Shulk and his coming. companions? Yes, for reasons pertaining to the weapon this Shulk possesses. Shulk's weapon? Do you mean the Monado? So it is true. If that weapon is truly the Monado, we shall be forced to take action. Why? Oh, God. Oh, she doesn't know There the is legend. a legend passed down through the generations of a divine weapon, the Monado. It is there said that the Bionis itself bestows the blade upon a chosen one. However, if the chosen one is black of heart, he will cause the destruction of the High Entia. Why do you assume that Shulk is Among any, is High Entia like exist the good and bad alike. Homs and Nopon are no different. If this boy is the chosen one. The Divine Seer's interrogation will reveal where his allegiances lie. Oh. So you intend to keep them confined? We must. Father, I mean, Your Majesty. I assure you, Shulk is of pure heart. As my successor, you will play a role of great importance. Calm your spirit and be patient. Oh, so that's the guy we saw. That's the guy with the giant flowing beard that we saw. He was actually some kind of seer. Dear sister, I can see the Emperor's words have confused you. Oh god, no. Hmm. Brother. Oh, for His a moment, Majesty I thought he was... has spoken. He recognizes you as the Crown Princess. You are to be the next ruler of the High Entia. Me? And not you. Yes. The Emperor asked for my counsel, and I told him as I tell you now. Traitor! You will make a fine Empress. Traitor, traitor! There is no one more suited to leading our people. Traitor, traitor, you traitor! You that when you dispatched the Telethia. I... Assassin! Don't know what to... Melia. But I can smell it from a mile away. I am not fit to rule. I should visit their families and beg for pardon. Melia, you know that this is not allowed. I know. But it does nothing for the guilt I feel. I know how simple it is, and really goes. the Emperor said. Grieve their departing, and engrave in your heart their great deeds. I will. You are right to question these things, but take pride in who you are. The Emperor has chosen wisely in you, Melia. I... I am to be crown princess. Yes, you are. Okay, now never mind. There's the assassin. The ministries of research and records are Someone united in support involved, of his majesty's decision. I, Minister Lorithea, have no objection to your appointment. I understand. I would never openly question our divine emperor. But the wielder of the Monado 
the chosen one might be a useful tool. Oh useful yeah, tool. you couldn't yes, smell that from a while. But away. a lowly servant of the realm such as myself could never question his majesty. However, if the divine seer were to intervene, the seer could free Shulk. They should be exchanging words as we speak. Hmm. Of course, now we've re realized that prophecies in, R R in JRPGs always come true. Always. In this case, the Mechon destroy half the Entians and Shulk destroys the Idiot other half because they're brains. all traitors. What do we do? A fancy prison is still a prison. What happened to Melia? I don't see her locked up in here with us. She's exactly. royalty. She's in on this. Shulk, any thoughts here? Melia won't let us down. She promised to take us to Prison Island. And she's not the kind of person to break a promise. Okay, Shulk. You win. You've I only known her you. for a little while. If you believe Melia, then no arguments from me. I guess we just make do with what we're given here. We, we're not having the full five-man band? What the hell happened to the rest of them? If it's just Shul, you know, whatever. Oh, they're just gonna stay around in prison. Very nice prison. Someone tells me they don't actually have a prison, they just turn the dining hall into a prison, make very makeshift, and they're like, get all the china out of here, seal up the windows, make them bulletproof. There are guns in this game, in this, uh, in this universe, right? I'm pretty sure I've seen a couple of that. Let's see. Dip, 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 dip. Bird people. Oh, you would know. You probably, you probably know them better than we do. Masks? Oh, yeah, we did. Well, we've seen two different sets of masks on these, uh, on these high Indians, to be honest. One's kind of dark. Yeah, that's about right. Oh, so what we had to do with progressive plot was just talk with everyone? Okay, fair enough. I should have guessed. It's always that's something they use. Play a lot of Mega Man Battle Network. You, they, that is used everywhere. You are to be interrogated by the Divine Seer. Stand back. Is that the seer? Seer would... I was expecting a Santa Claus-like figure. What are you doing here? Alvis? Oh, this guy! <laughs> Told you he's I real! See. So that is why you are here? Is Melia okay? We didn't mean to cause her any trouble. Rest assured, she is fine. The real reason you have been detained is not because you are outsiders. You don't mean... Yes. The Monado. You see, the High Entia and the Monado go back many years. Millennia, in fact. And here comes the real scoop. Oh. Leave everything to me. I shall see to it that you are not held for long. We cannot have the saviors of Her Highness treated as criminals now, can we? <laughs> Free these people. I shall take responsibility for their actions whilst inside the capital. They are now guests of the Imperial family. Sir, Thank you, Elvis. I am required to report to His Majesty. Otherwise, I would escort you around the capital. Use this room at your leisure. You are free to roam the city or stay here and rest. Farewell. Think... Hold on, Alvis. I need to ask you... Be patient. I know what it is you wish to ask. Do not fear. You will, you will learn, learn when the time, when is, the time right. is right. How many times have I heard that phrase in a game? Or in movies? Or in God knows what other media.
The life of the rich. So where are we going? Shopping. Anywhere but here. I'm bored of this stuffy room. Okay then. Ricky, find Melly for Shulk. Ricky, wait. Your Eminence. This seems like a problem. What God want? If you're after Alvis, he's gone. What? Where did he go? Just want to talk to the hum to what happened? royalty. We received an SOS from a small squadron repairing a transporter at Aerith Sea. But the transmission was interrupted, and we have lost all contact with the squadron. Oof. That's bad. Sounds like they need our help. Shulk and Ricky go help. Ricky and friends help people in trouble. Of course. We're happy to help. But you're outsiders. Soldier man, not worry. Here upon Ricky is here to save the day. Dear God, do you have to make... It is make... most appreciated. We need all the help we can get. Yeah, why would you turn down help of any kind, to be honest? I mean, if you're if you're shortchanged... Eh, whatever. Whatever. Right. So, uh, let's just go ahead and get the... Get the old Team Blitzkrieg back together for a bit. Although I anticipate having to switch in, uh, switch in Ryan and Sharla soon enough. And then let's go shopping. Oh yeah, we got a nice little story quest. Head to... Head near the lighthouse. Uh, sure. Hub go to Hovering Reef 4. Which reefs have I been to? I don't remember. But mainly I just want to go shopping first. I... So, I actually did a little bit of research before uh, before recording this episode, figure out what we need to do if we are going to uh, get that portable furnace. We have to upgrade everything at Colony 6 to level 1, and that requires 32 grand. 32,000 gold. So, I don't have 32,000 gold on me right now. I'm just going to find a shop around here to sell my stuff. Hopefully these high-end teams actually believe in commerce. Uh, and then, once I get that, I'm going to go to the necessary hunting spots to find the items that I'm looking for. Uh, let me see if I can't... Actually, you know what? There should be a map here. They should be able to point me towards a shop. It's kind of sort of... Yeah, right, like, straight ahead, there's a shop. So yeah, and then I need to head to the right areas to find the enemies I'm looking for. There's like a couple of simple hawk, like some hawks are on the Bionis' legs, uh, aqua nebulas, we've seen those already. I believe there's also, I'm trying to think, think what else was there, oh yeah, fighter ignas, I believe we fought those, and uh, a bunch of wolves. So yeah, most of these are like bio on the Bionis leg, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, did I w run past the run past the shop while I was looking up looking up that guy that I pulled up on Game FAQs? Yes, I did. God damn it! This is why you don't multitask, people. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm I'm usually fine with this kind of stuff. But yeah. We need a lot of gold, and we need to hunt... Well, it's not all animal killing, thankfully. It's not all going to be from drops. There's going to be some of it that just comes from... That just... That's just around in the field. So there? let me see. While we're here, though, since we do have a shop, might as well glance at their wares. Although I doubt we'll actually buy anything, because we'll be saving most of it for... Uh... Oh, wait, I did have 12 grand. I probably could have done some trading. I guess I just didn't have enough expensive stuff. That cutlass, probably not. Probably, I have no... I forget what he currently has equipped. No, no, no. I want to see that... Right, that's what I meant to do there. Uh, hmm. Nibbler's not bad, I guess. Uh, nice little... Lancer of sorts, eh. and the popular staff. Popular staff. Well, we don't have Mila on our side right now, so. And of course, there's all the requisite gear. It seems like nice gear. Probably some good armor. Well, oh, actually, much, very interesting armor here. Could probably go for a sky top. 
Yeah, Shulk could definitely go for a sky top. The Aerith armor would also be interesting, but there's no slot, so it's just a sky top. It's lighter weight anyway, so that's what Shulk really needs. Yeah, we'll buy one sky top for Shulk, because he's going to be kind of wearing the same gear forever. And, uh, these are nice. Uh, let me see here. Swimming bottoms seem kind of interesting. I'm really not sure why... I mean, I understand what Aquatic Cloak does. Oh, right, no, I thought it was, like, Increase of Fate. I was confusing you with, a po with an ability in Pokémon. My bad. Uh, yeah, I really don't see it. Hover shoes, though. Ooh. Well, now I'm... I probably should also get those for Shulk. I think I have, like... I mean, Agility up 3 is not bad. I forget what it currently has on there. And, uh... And books for Amelia. She could use those. Summon Copy. Someone told me that was good. As well as, like... I don't really see too much of the straight kick or the bolts. But, well, actually, no. Summon bolts would definitely come up a bit. But, yeah, I'm gonna remember the shop for a bit later. What is this? Hello, citizen. Oh. Yeah, like everyone doesn't already write love songs. I can name like a dozen. Aww. You guessed it, I don't have enough materials. This game is starting to lampshade the ma its side quest now. Great. Uh, that is a heaping sum of money, though. Well, I'll see if I can't find any Rakdai Lexos. And, well, then I guess maybe we'll just... Well, we're almost done. Time's almost up for this episode. I could probably head down to the Bionis Lake and see what... what hunting I could do in this time period, but... No, no, that sounds stupid. I'll do the hunting off-camera. It's it's all random stuff, and since it's all random anyway, and we know what to get. I mean, let me see. What else is there? Where where else do I need to go? Oh, a little bit in Tefra Cave, a little bit in Colony Six. Tefra Cave again. Tefra Cave. Yeah, it's mostly most of the stuff that isn't picked up from animal from drops is in Tefra Cave, with a little bit in Colony Six. So. Tells me that gold caterpillar is kind of rare. Hmm, in Tefra Cave. Eh, I guess, you yeah, know, maybe. Maybe it's actually that, that giant bug that almost tried to kill me before. <laughs> that I thought I could easily wall up. Now is it going to be a massacre, so. Oh, no, no, wait, this is a collectathon. Forget it. Oh. Something tells me I should have just said yes regardless. <gasps> and there's no jumping over walls in this game. <gasps> Except for high <gasps> ones. I do not know why they make that distinction. Yeah, well, whatever. Whatever! Let's see, uh, we have a story quest to do, so maybe we should do that now? Or, uh... <sighs> I really am just a little bit puzzled. Oh, hey! Yeah, too much drinking is bad. Yeah, I mean, haven't you heard? Oh, yeah, and I imagine that. And of course, and of course, all Nophon are traitors. Except for Ricky. Hey, Mithril armor! Hmm. Huh. Well, if that doesn't make an interesting up interesting buy for Ryan. I don't know what does. I mean, it's really, really sturdy armor. Or we could get Chop Talents, which I don't really give a shit about. So, let's see. What do I trade for that? Oh, god damn. Sorry, man. Sorry. We'll, um, get around to it soon enough. Oh, probably move that to... 
Yes, thank you, new timer. I decided to switch out the old timer. Oh, hey, yeah, I probably could have. Those, those float shoes definitely sound like they would replace the survivor shoes really easily. But yeah, I guess that's just going to do it for this episode then. So until next time, everyone, I'm Dave. Oh, God, look at that sky top. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, yeah, and I still have a slot. Why did I remove the initial tension thing? Anyway, I'm Dave. Remember, uh, remember, let's see. Remember, don't, don't look down. Take care, everybody. Where is that thing? I swear, I'm horribly disorganized.